So what what is the significance of an observer in cosmology in the study of the whole cosmos? Mm. Why is the because naively we might think we are so small in the whole cosmos, why should we matter? That's yeah. right. It's exactly the opposite in a strange way of the quantum situation. In the quantum situation, people have said we need to talk about the observer because the observer has this big effect on how the physics is. Um, in cosmology, there's no suggestion the observer affects the cosmology. It's more that the cosmology, the sheer scale of the universe, affects the way we reason about science, affects the way we reason from observations to predictions as to which theories are true. And, and the reason for that is because in various different ways, our uh, modern theories of cosmology are leading us towards a universe that is staggeringly big even by the standards of cosmology. So a universe that's either really genuinely infinite or it's not infinite, so unthinkably vast that um, we're only seeing a minuscule part of it. Now, if that's the case, if the universe is much, much, much larger than we see, and most of it we'll never see because light will never reach us from it, if that's true, then asking the standard scientific question, what happens, um, kind of has to be replaced by asking the question, what happens in that part of reality that we can observe? And, how do we, and since what we really want to know, in a sense, is what happens, what's the true theory, we need to think really hard about how to relate those two issues. So one, one good example of this is um, a lot of observations of our universe at least plausibly are interpreted, this, this is contested, but at least plausibly are interpreted as saying that many features of the way the world are are really unlikely. So, for instance, the cosmological constant, the dark energy that drives the expansion of the universe, seems to have a value that it's really unlikely it would have. Mm -hmm. But we have reason to think that in lots of different bits of the universe it has lots of different values. We also have reason to think that if it didn't have the value it has roughly, we wouldn't be here to see it. So when you remember that the observations we made have to be made by us in a universe that can support our existence, then, so the argument goes, it's not so surprising to see the cosmological constant be the value it has. It's kind of like the old joke, isn't it, really un isn't it amazing that we're lucky enough to live on a planet capable of supporting life?